Hey, welcome back. This is episode 21 of the Let's Play series. Uh, so we still have our gold shield. It's been on for the last several hours, protecting our gold. We still have 13 hours left. We need to get to 1. I believe 5 million, 1.2 million. So let's go start raiding. I did collect my farms uh, periodically over the night. So 34,000, no good. I'll pull up our favorites list, see what we have in here. 45, 51, here's one for 74, so we'll go ahead and attack this person. So he's got buildings up in front, so we'll bring out cannons first. Come up here, be able to take out all the troops with the sword rain. Bring out another cannon. Since he does have gargoyle towers. I should have waited just a second and killed the rest of those troops. Um, hopefully that doesn't hurt me too bad later on. So I'm going to pull back just a little bit and let the froster come over the barricade so I can kill him. Start bringing out a bunch more knights. Since I have a decent army of cannons, I got three cannons alive. Went over there, sword rain, everything. Hopefully my cannons survive. Yep, I still have two cannons, which is good. I'm running a little bit low on life, so I'm going to have to heal a little bit. So I'm blocking this cannon, actually, from going forward. Um, I'm doing that for a reason, so it doesn't get destroyed by the Frost or Pyromancer up here. You can block your units if you're in there in front of them, pretty much. like Almost like a barricade type thing. Um, it doesn't work too well against little infantry units, but on cannons, since they're so big and bulky, you can actually block their way, and you'll be able to hold them back for a few seconds extra, which is a great feature um, to help preserve their life, because they do die fairly quickly, especially the pyromancers or arb blasters. Even archers can take them out fairly quickly. So 72,000, very good raid there. We'll see what the first random person has. 5,000, a horrible amount. So we're going to go back. Favorites list. We'll see how much she'll give us again. 34,000. That's a very bad amount as well. So we'll go up on the favorites list. So here's another guy. 69,000. Perfect. We'll take him out. He doesn't have too many curves in his base, so it won't be that difficult. Getting his towers up front, so we'll bring out cannon. Have to build up an army of knights, because he does have a lot of paladins, it looks like. I mean, a lot of paladins. So we're going to need a whole bunch of knights in this fight to take out the paladins. It looks like all his troops are, are just paladins, so that means we just keep constantly spamming knights and we should be fine. This right here is going to take out most of my knights, which is going to suck. Uh, the gargoyle towers are very, very good against knights. So we constantly keep on bringing out more knights. It doesn't appear he has any ranged troops, which is good for us. It looks like it's just straight paladins. So definitely need my hero to help take out the paladins because they do have a lot of life. He 
even though I have like 10 knights there, 5 paladins can do a lot of damage to them. They can kill quite a bit before they die. Oops. Unable to get that last tower. It's okay. Not a big deal. 68,000 there. So as long as we can still keep picking up, you know, 60,000, 50,000 here and there, we'll be able to move up fairly quickly and get the gold that we need. So this guy has a lot of gargoyle towers and spikes in front, so we're going to bring out cannons. Like I said, anytime you see buildings right up front, you want to bring out cannons as your first wave. And then afterwards, you want to bring out the knights. If you see nothing up front, no buildings, and just a long straightaway, you want to bring out knights so they can attack the troops. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but it does help uh, preserve your cannon's life. Because if their cannon goes up against troops, that's going to take some damage, possibly even die. So that's a waste of five recruitment points. And again, it looks like this person doesn't have any ranged troops, just all straight paladins. Oh, he does have a froster. But we're already at his gate. So now I'm just bringing out archers just to help me with the achievement so I can get some free gems. Since the match is pretty much over, we have a big army, we're at its gate, we have a lot of time. Very easy raid there. Collected 51,000. So, so far we've gotten almost 200,000. There's 40,000 on that person, so we're going to check our favorites list. I believe we just attacked this person. So 48,000. We'll attack her for 57. And so you see spikes, so you're going to bring out cannons first. Then you bring out the archer or the uh, the knights right behind it. Make sure you use your sword ring to take out <clears throat> the first group of ranged troops. Uh, see, we're going to have a difficult time here because my sword ring actually didn't kill the pyromancer in one hit. So that is going to be very problematic. Yeah, his troops are uh, a lot stronger. You can see they devoured my little knights. And they got to my cannons. So my cannons started taking some damage. The Pyromancer right there just threw off a fireball. It's going to do a lot of damage to all my troops. Sort of staying back a little bit because I need to heal. Going to wait up and, and bring out a cannon. have a good amount of life now so I'm again I'm gonna wait up and bring in another the cannon and now uh, the rest is just gonna be all knights gotta take out the pyromancers here so they don't destroy my cannons or my knights so then you gotta take out the gargoyle tower here because it will destroy all the knights that I just built Probably should have saved my sword rain there, uh, but I looked on top and there was no other uh, troops coming at this moment. 
So that means I do have a few seconds to, you know, recover my sword rain. And I just barely was able to get it right at time when, you know, I needed it again. Uh, so my cannons got to the gate. One just died. But we should be able to win this one. We have two cannons here and halfway there. So we're, yeah, we're going to win this with about a few seconds left. Very close fight. Uh, we were able to do it, though. You can see how much the, the Pyromancers help out. If they don't die in one hit, they do a lot of damage. And they can really disrupt your army and kill your cannons. So upgrading your Pyromancers is vital. The two troops that you really want to upgrade for your army camps are the, are the Paladins and the Pyromancers. So we'll go check our favorites list again. So this guy is giving us 67. He's high trophy count, so I don't know if we'll be able to beat him. He has a lot of pyromancers, but we're going to give him a go because he has a lot of loot. So wide open area. We're going to bring out a bunch of knights. And that's to help us kill the first wave of troops up here. I come up to meet the Pyromancers, hopefully that I can take their uh, fire bolts, so they won't target all the knights. Unfortunately, that didn't work out too well. A lot of them got burned. I did bring out one cannon. Now that we got to the gate and we have a decent sized army of troops, uh, the Pyromancers don't die in one hit, so this is going to be very problematic here as well. Coming up here, so I can attack all the spikes on the other side as well. So I was able to kill the barricade and the spikes over there. And I ran back here towards my cannons and stuff. Because I want to try and lure the pyromancers out that were behind that barricade. Need to recover. So I'm going to sit here and call my troops so they can build up. Have enough to bring out a cannon. So I'm able to get through the other side now, which is a very important aspect. I can kill all the towers and the pyromancers over here and let my troops now just run past them. Have to come up here and get the pyromancers because they're the one throwing fire at all my troops and burning them before they can even get to you know the buildings so we're not going to be able to beat his base I have to regenerate right here I'm guarding this area so the pyromancers and the froster can't attack the troops that are right there so that's as far as we're going to get we only got 30,000 out of it so it wasn't you know that worthwhile So we're definitely going to look for someone a little bit easier in the next raid. We're at um, 8 point f or 840,000, so we need about 350,000 more. Um, that's going to do it for this video. I'll be uploading this one and then uh, filming the next episode. Collect our farms. And that's going to be it for this episode, and I will see you in about 15 minutes or so.